Today is transmission, the awkward stage. When I say that, I think what comes up for a lot of us is like those teenage years where you're super awkward and your body's transforming and your pimples and testosterone and all this other stuff is coming up and it's like weird, right? Your voice is cracking. But what I mean today is the awkward stage between where you are and what you're destined to give to the world. A lot of people come to me and they say, Preston, I want to become a motivational speaker. I want to inspire the world. I have this vision. I have this dream on my heart. And how do I get there, right? They want to skip from point A. They want to literally be born, which means the vision is born. It pops up. It comes through because it's chosen you. They want to go from there to Steph Curry. They want to go from the moment the idea comes to Steve Jobs. They want to go from the moment that it hits them to Oprah Winfrey. You got to crawl before you walk. And the awkward stage is where it all happens. That's where the magic happens. You want to embrace the awkward stage. You want to embrace all the in-between, the not knowing, right? I get it. As humans, we want to control the whole thing and we want to know how the path is going to unfold. Please give me five steps to how my life is going to unfold. From my heart to yours, that's in fucking possible. You don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you need to go through. You don't know how many breakups and breakdowns and sick parents and sick children and sick everything you need to go through in order to build a body that can actually hold what it is that you're calling. You see, for me, I started doing YouTube seven years ago. Right now, this channel has been up for five. Seven years ago, I said, I know that what's on my heart, what's calling me forward, I know that what's calling me forward is speaking is speaking to the masses, is getting to people and getting in rooms with people and helping them see their own light. I knew it. I also knew that I wasn't ready for what I was asking for. Sometimes your higher self, catch this guys, sometimes your higher self reroutes you. Have you ever been on a plane and the plane got rerouted to an area where you don't live, where you weren't going? You know, let's just say you were in California and you were headed to New York, each side of the coast. And as the plane took off, they said, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have to reroute the plane up to North Dakota. And for you, you may go, what the hell are we doing in North Dakota? I, there's no reason for me to be in North Dakota, but yes, 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 yes. This is the awkward stage. That's exactly where you need to be. Because in North Dakota, that's when you go through the breakdown. That's when you go through the breakup. In North Dakota, that's when you take that job that you didn't necessarily think that you should have taken, that taught you that thing, that had you date that person, that had you meet that person, that had you open up this other part of your vision that you had no clue would come unless you were in North Dakota. You've been in the gym for so long in North Dakota hitting weights. You've been in there hitting them, right? You see that? You see that little? By the time you hit New York, you are so ready. You built a body that can withstand it. Guys, you cannot skip past the awkward stage. Wherever you are right now is perfect for you. It's perfect for your journey, your higher self. Call it God, call it Jesus, call it Buddha, call it Allah, call it Krishna, whatever you want to call it. The higher self has rerouted you. You said, I'm ready to go to New York. I'm ready to light my dream on fire. And the higher self said, oh yeah? Let me put you through a few more breakups, a few more breakdowns. Let me put you through failing out of college. Let me put you through your mom getting cancer. Now we'll see. You got to crawl before you walk, guys. This is the game. The awkward stage you cannot skip past. This is the work and it's all about the journey. You'll see when you land in New York that it was all about who you became on the way to New York. It was never about New York. Yes, it's amazing to see your dreams come true. I have spoken and on stages with 6,500 people. I couldn't even imagine that when I first set out. I just wanted to speak to 200. I couldn't even imagine, but my higher self rerouted me and knew I wasn't ready. So I just kept making videos, putting one foot in front of the other and doing my thug fizzle. Why? Because it was written, it was handwritten on my soul. There's something that's calling you forward, something that only you can give to the world right now. And instead of you trying to have the cherry tree blossom all at once, let that tree grow. Just keep watering the tree. Keep giving the tree sunshine. Let have patience with the tree. And that tree will produce for years and years to come. When you honor your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. When you honor your gifts, your gifts will make room for you. This is what I'm living right now. I got money and money isn't everything, but my gifts are making room for me. I'm here. I'm giving my gift because I actually care. I'm not sure if you can catch it, right? But this is not just motivation for the sake of motivation. I'm speaking from the depths of my soul because I know this to be true.
I'm doing my best to energetically transfer some of this to you to remind you that the crawling stage, that part where you're falling, right? All of us, all of us have the vision that when you were a kid, you had the vision of walking. You saw everybody else walking and you said, I want to do my version of that. And you got up and you stumbled and you fell and you got up and you stumbled and you fell and then, then you did a couple steps in and you fell again. Yes. Walking is awesome. Now it's muscle memory. Now you don't have to think about walking. You don't have to think about raising your arms because they just happened. Before when you were a kid, you'd raise an arm and be like, what is that thing? Oh. And then you'd be like, oh, I could put it in my mouth. Guys, it's so, so special. This time that we have, whatever, however long that time is, it's so special. Keep putting one foot in front of the other. Keep watering the cherry tree until it becomes a fully blossomed tree. The condition of the soil determines the productivity of the seed. The condition of the soil determines the productivity of the seed. The seed contains the whole tree. You contain everything you ever needed. It's already in there. How do we take care of the soil? Gratitude, playfulness, love, studying things that matter to you, being in community, drinking a lot of water, because our bodies are 70% water. Giving, because we only get in life what we give to life. And you cannot have what you are not willing to build. You cannot have what you are not willing to give. It's nice to say, I want. I want to be, fill in the blank. Are you willing to do the work? That's the game.